Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson 10. And in this lesson, students are gonna be partitioning circles and rectangles. But this time, we're really gonna be focusing on thirds and quarters, uh, but continuing that understanding that whenever we're talking about fractions, we're talking about partitioning shapes into equal pieces. So let's get started. You know, for example, so if we're talking about like thirds, the idea is we want students to recognize that thirds, and I better write that down, thirds, that means that we're talking about taking a shape and cutting it into three equal sized pieces. Now, how we cut them it isn't so important as long as we know that they're equal. For example, here. I tried to make them equal, um, but you could see, boom, there's one way to cut it into three equal sized pieces. Now, I'm not totally perfect here, but close enough for uh, government work. And then down here, I could have said, well, what if we cut it like this? And that would be good because we still have three equal sized pieces. Uh, they're just, they just look different than this up here. The circle is always the, the tricky one. That's that's the hard one to cut into thirds. And, you know, a lot of times we talk about that, that peace symbol or that Mercedes-Benz symbol. And that's, that's right there. And then we don't have a lot of choice there. Although, technically, we do have a choice. We could say, you know, um, however we arrange it, as long we can rotate it any way we want, and we still have equal thirds. So this in thirds is the same as this in thirds is the same as that in thirds. So the rotation of that circle might provide uh, a different variation of thirds. Whereas in a rectangle, you've got the vertical cuts and then you've got the horizontal cuts. So do the shapes below show halves or thirds? So are we talking halves or are we talking thirds? And of course, we're talking halves because we always have two pieces every single time. And whenever you have, you're talking about halves, you're talking about two pieces. And then it says, draw one more line to partition each shape above into fourths. So the idea is we have two pieces. Now let's cut them up into uh, fourths. All right. So in the circle, we don't have much of a choice. Oh, and I guess we don't have much of a choice with a square either. We don't have much of a choice with this circle either. Now, this guy, we do have a choice. So one way we can do it is we could say, well, let's draw one line. And now we're really closely following the directions. It says, draw one more line to partition each shape into fourths. All right, so there we go. Now. We do, however, want to allow our students the opportunity to say, oops, let's go, let's go back, back. Okay, uh, the idea is we could tell our students that they have a choice and we could, let's erase this because they could say, well, instead of it doing it that way, let we could have said, well, let's cut it into fourths this way. Now what's different is I'm not using one line, I'd be actually drawing two lines, one here, one here. Now parents and teachers, if you have some outside of the box thinking student who wants to do it that way to make fourths, please, by all means, let that student do it. Um, it's not exactly following the directions, but as long as that student is representing and understanding that fourths, uh, where is it, oh, fourths is four equal parts, we're golden, so let that uh, roll. So here it says partition each rectangle into thirds and then shade the shapes as indicated. So what it says is we have a rectangle and we're supposed to shade it into thirds. So that's the first step. So let's shade it into thirds and I'll choose to do it this way. And then it says right here we're supposed to shade in two 
of those thirds. So, okay, I'll shade in this one, and I'll just be creative, and I'll shade in that one. So I've shaded in two thirds. Now let's do this one. Let's shade it. First, we're going to cut it into thirds, and then we're going to shade in one third, because that's what it said, one third. And lastly, let's cut this one into thirds. And it says we're supposed to shade in three thirds. So that's going to be one third, two thirds, three thirds. Oh, look at that. When we shade in three thirds, you shade in the whole thing. And that's the idea. And for this one, it says partition each circle into fourths. Then shade the shapes as indicated. So we want our second graders to recognize the fourths with the circle. It's pretty straightforward and easy. We're just going to go down and across, down and across, down and across, down and across. And then once we've got this, it's easy for us to see we're going to shade in one fourth or three fourths or four fourths. And again, we want students to recognize, hey, four fourths, that's the whole thing. Um, and they get choices. If, if we're talking about three-fourths, for example, if we're talking three-fourths, I can shade in these three, but a student might choose a different three, or in two-fourths. One student might shade in the top two, another student might shade in the bottom two, or some other uh, variation. So parents and teachers, let your students explore with a variety of ways to solve these problems. Then it says, partition and shade the following shapes. Each rectangle or circle is one whole. So uh, it says shade in one half. All right, so we're going to cut it in half, and we have a choice of all the different directions that we could you, uh, draw our line. But now it says shade in half, so all right, I'm going to shade in half. Boom, right there. And then it says one fourth. Well, we have a couple of choices, don't we? So I'm going to do one fourth like this. There's my four pieces, and I'm going to shade in one fourth. And we could just keep going, and that's the idea, is uh, cut it into whatever fraction it says, and then shade in. And the last slide for this video, it says a word problem. Split the pizza below, that's this one, so that Shane, Raul, and John all have an equal share. Label each student's share with his name. So um, let's, we have split the pizza below so that Shane, Raul, and John all have an equal share. So that means since there's three people that means we need to cut our circle into thirds because we know three is thirds, all right? So remember, you find your dot in your center and you go straight up and then you kind of go down at an angle, down at an angle. And man, students need a lot of practice with that one, don't they? So label each student's share with his name. So I'm going to kind of abbreviate, and I'm going to say S for Shane, R for Raul, and J for John. What fraction did the boys get? Well, each boy got one-third. So we're going to put one-third for each boy. But in all, see, they got three-thirds because... Shane got one-third, Raul got one-third, and John got one-third. So they got, in all, three-thirds. And that wraps up second grade, module eight, lesson 10. We're partitioning, partitioning circles and rectangles. The key thing is to focus on those equal parts. And today, we're kind of really focusing on thirds and fourths.